Now in this question, the question is related with the permutation. Now given fx is equal to y is equal to 7 minus x p x minus 3. Now here what we are going to do, we have to follow some properties for the permutation. Okay. Now what it is, we are having 7 minus x is always greater than 0. Then x minus 3 written in the base, it is always greater than is equal to 0. It can be 0 also, it can be greater than equal to 0. But this cannot be 0. Okay, so this is always greater than 0 and always positive. And third condition we are having 7 minus x is greater than is equal to x minus 3. So these are the three conditions which we have to follow. Now for this part, first one we are having 7 minus x is greater than 0. Therefore, x is less than 7, 1. Let it be 1 first. Then x minus 3 is greater than is equal to 0. x is less than is equal to 3. Let this be 2. And 7 minus x is greater than is equal to x minus 3. This implies 2x is less than is equal to 10. Okay, less than is equal to 10. And this implies x is less than is equal to 5. Now, from 1, 2 and 3, we can write 3 is less than is equal to x is less than is equal to 5. Okay. Hence, domain of function is equal to 3, 4, 5. 3 is less than is equal to x is less than equal to 5. Now shifting for the range. Now range for f3 first of all we will be taking this 3. Now f3 becomes 7 minus 3 permutation for 3 minus 3. f3 is equal to 4p0 and this is 1. First thing. Then for f4, 7 minus 4p4 minus 3, this is 3 p1 sorry we will be writing it like f4 f4 is equal to 3 p1 and 3 p1 is what 3 f5 is equal to 7 minus 5 p 5 minus 3 for f5 we are having now 2 p2 and 2 p2 is what <laughs> Again, we are having 2p2 is 1. So, we are having now 4p0, 3p1. Now, 3p1 is 1, okay. Now, 2p2, 2p2 is 2. And p n range of a function is equal to 1, 2, 3. So, we are having now domain and range.